Hi everybody. This is my very first videotape soap making video. Um, I'm going to do something that <laughs> I'm actually quite hesitant to do, but I've been dreaming about this. I want to do this. So what I made these, uh, I call them coral, little corals, little embeds out of mountain pour. And I'm going to try to do an ocean scene. So first I'm just going to mix my oils and my lye. I have castor oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, lard, and olive oil in here. And actually, I almost forgot, I wanted to add two teaspoons of sodium lactate. I better do it now because I completely forgot about it. And I'm eyeballing it because I, well, I'm pretty good at eyeballing it. I'm a baker. I know a teaspoon when I see a teaspoon. But um, here's my lye solution. I'm going to strain it because I have silk in here. So I just want to make sure I don't get any, I can see fibers and I don't want them in my soap. So I'm going to dump that in. I really, really hope this works, but I have a very bad feeling that this is not going to turn out at all like I have planned, but let's give it a go and we'll see what happens. Just give it a quick stick blend. just want a very light trace because I'm hoping for a kind of a melty blurry effect which I'm really hoping to get but Okay, so I have my little cups here. So I have my green, my blue, and my other green. And I'm using these cups because I'm not using a lot of color here for each one. Like for the bottom, I'm going to be using this green oxide that I just added a little bit of uh, activated charcoal to just to deepen it up a little bit and I kind of want that for my my seabed I guess you could call it and I'm I'm kind of going against all the rules that I usually follow maybe that's why I have such a bad feeling about this <laughs> is because I am breaking my own rules here but Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So, should I have fragrance? No, nope, I'm going to do this first. So this will be for my bottom. And I think that's about all I need is right there. It's my bottom. And here is kind of my middle color. I don't know if you can see that. It's such a pretty blue. Oh, I love it so much. I hope this color carries over well into the soap because it's so pretty. It's, what is it? I can see it here. I've got the back of the label turn. I think it's called Blue Vibrance. Micah, and who's it by? Nurture Soap. That's where I got that one. 
their Hollywood pink is really, really nice too. They just have such a nice pop of color. Okay, so I'm sorry about that. You know, I should have put that in a bigger one. Mama's not thinking today. She's going to hand mix and do all kinds of stuff she never does. Okay, so we got you. And then I have my aqua. Which was just a chromium hydro... What, what do they call it? Hydrochromium oxide? Either way, gorgeous color. I've always loved this color. It reminds me of the sea. And I love the sea. I've never been to the tropics. And the closest to the, to the ocean I've been was I lived in Newfoundland, actually, for a year. And as beautiful as the ocean was, it was so cold that you couldn't really interact with it. You're kind of confined to the shore, looking at it, and yeah. Okay, you know what I'm going to do here? I'm doing a last minute Camille thing. I know, so many people are probably watching and going, oh, what are you doing? I'd love to be able to tell you what I'm doing, but today... I am just flying by the seat of my pants and I don't know what has gotten into me. I'm by the book. I'm always by the book. And today, I have no interest in the book today. And I guess we'll find out um, if I learn the hard way what the best way to do this is. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. Oh, that's such a beautiful color. Okay, I am loving these colors. Loving. You see how thick my batter is? If anyone can answer this, I think I read somewhere. I don't know where I read this. I read a lot in the comment sections on YouTube and stuff. And that's where I get a lot of information. I get a lot of very good information on there and so Queen TV and all these different places um, so making forum they have a lot of stuff but can anyone answer this for me is it true that adding adding sodium lactate thickens your batter because as you can see I haven't even added my fragrance oil yet oh my goodness look at that I love that color yay you know what? Even if this doesn't turn out as planned, the colors are going to make me happy. So, I love every single color that I have right here. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. Now, as it's thickening up on me, I better start uh, considering adding my oils here. And what I am adding, I'm adding spearmint. And I'm adding a fragrance called Autumn Breeze by Candora. Candora soap. Um, they're a supplier here in Canada. And I'm actually very pleased the stuff I get from them. Um, I'm trying to think of something I've been disappointed in, and I don't think, ah, yes, I was disappointed in one, and that was the blueberry fragrance oil. Um, <laughs> I love blueberry so much that I ordered the eight ounce bottle. Note to self, if you haven't read any reviews or no one's left any, be cautious and buy an ounce or two. That stuff smells like... Well, the consensus from everyone that has smelled it has been some kind of blue raspberry candy. That's what they all say it makes them think of. Like of those uh, 
Do you remember Blow Pops? Those suckers that had the gum in the middle? The clear one. I think that was called Blue Raspberry. And that's exactly what that blueberry smells like. And now I have eight ounces of that stuff and I have no idea what to make with it. Hey Jeff, is that you? I just thought it was my husband there. Whew. That spearmint clears your sinuses a little bit. Those two smells together are really good. Autumn Breeze and Spearmint. Definitely worth a try. You know what? I'm going to stick blend this one. on wood. Everything's staying pretty fluid. I'm kind of impressed. Okay, so the plan is to put the green, this green, on the bottom. extra paper towel here. There. Okay. So I want to put the green on the bottom. I hope you can see this here. We'll do this. You know what? I've not used cups before. The only time I used cups was for the tall and skinny shimmy soap challenge. And this is the first time it's occurred to me to just use cups because all they have is these great big, well they're not great big, but they're fairly big containers. And they're just too big for the job. Okay. Now this is what I wanted to do. You know what I think I'm going to do? Uh, what can I use? Ah, use my skewer packet. I'm going to go like this. And try to get, get it on that side a little bit. And I'm going to start putting my... <laughs> my funny little embeds in. You know what? They're so funny. I did what I could. I did this all with a knife. With a little exacto knife. But you can't help it sometimes. You get an idea in your head. This one was my favorite actually. I really like this one. I think this one is very cute. But yeah, you get an idea in your head and you're, you know, you, you think about it and you go, can I pull it off? Will it work? And especially if you're, you know, I wouldn't say I'm novice, novice, but when it comes to something like this, yeah, I'm novice. I can layer soap, I can swirl, I can do all those things. But this is new territory for me. I need, here, I'm going to go like this. I hope this doesn't screw it up. That's so weird. I thought I had so much room for these. I thought I had extra room. And now it's looking like, now it's looking like they won't even all fit. Oh, Camille. <laughs> and I have one more that's supposed to go in here. Look at this. I have one more. Should I try to make it fit? Yes. Why not? You know what? I'm I'm going all out. I I don't care. 
So, this is the tricky part. I wanted to put some dark blue. This isn't very dark, but let's see. Mm, I like this one, actually. I better stir it here. She's thickening up, but not too bad. Okay, well, now we know. Hope you can see here. Now we know that Autumn Breeze Fragrance Oil by Candora Soaps does not speed up trays. It doesn't accelerate. This has so far behaved really well. <laughs> Considering some of the ones I have used and pretty much just stood there with my mouth hanging open because I was thinking what happened what just happened here one minute I'm mixing it up and about to pour the next minute it's one solid lump of course that was before I knew about citruses having that effect okay so I got that blue there And now, see I have clear melt and pour. Where do I want to put it? Do I want to put it here? You know what? Oh, please tell me that it's not solid. Oh, no, it's not. I'm also not um, terribly familiar with melt and pour. Um, there's a lady on Facebook, Natalie, shout out to you, Natalie, the work she does with melt and pour is just amazing. It really is. It's amazing. You have to check out her work. She's super creative and all she does is melt and pour. That's all she uses. But wow, she's just so creative. If you need um, a soap for a special occasion, you know, something like that, she is the one to go to because, wow, she, she's just really, really good. Really good. I'm going to do this one next. And I think I'm going to have some extra soap. Well, that's kind of all right because I have some soap molds above me that I can pour extra soap into. So I'll just do it like this. I'm going to save just a little bit. And I'm going to try to... I'm trying to get a bit of a not marbled effect and not layered. <laughs> I've been I've been trying to figure out what I want with this soap for a couple weeks now. And all and even now I can't think of the words to describe what I am trying to achieve. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna have to put this in another mold. I'm just gonna texture the top. First, I'm going to do this, take that out, hopefully you can't hear my headphones, they're around my neck and it's Donna Summer hot stuff playing. <laughs> I promise I won't start dancing. If this soap turns out and looks even halfway cool, then I'll be dancing. I may even do it on camera just to <laughs> show you how happy I am. You know what I should have done? Uh, I say I should have, but I don't have any, um, I don't have any molds for like sea, 
seashell embeds and seahorses, stuff like that, starfish. But if I did that would have been awesome on here. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my spoon. Oh wow, look at that. I made a big mess. Okay. So how can I make this look wavy? You know what I should do? Yeah. It's water, so, but I want it to be even. It's very hard though, because it wants to go over the edges because I put, wait, too much soap. And of course I'm gonna put glitter on. I used to watch videos of soapers putting glitter on and go, oh, that looks so cool. They really love their glitter though. Wow, they love their glitter. Well, I ordered me some glitter. And, yep, I'm one of the club now. Glitter. <laughs> it makes everything better. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do with that. Is this in frame? Oh, it is. Okay. Pretty funny question to ask at the end of the video, huh? Is this in frame? <laughs> okay. Hang on here. off and just spray the I'm, I only do this because I've been lucky I don't get sore ash very often but I got it twice and I really wasn't sure why like I know they say you know it could do it has to do with the humidity and stuff like that but I'd rather not take any chances. Ah, oh, glitter. Come on, tell me glitter doesn't make everything better. You could take the most ugly duckling bar of soap, put glitter on top, and you just improved it by five points. Of course, that's my personal opinion. But I'm pretty sure there's many of you that would agree with me. Well, guys. Okay, somebody needs to tell me to stop. Like, right now. Okay, stop. 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 <laughs> Alright. Well, folks. There we have it. This is my coral reef soap. 
Uh, I can't see. I, because my camera's above me, I can't really see. But hopefully you can. And because I don't have any software editing programs yet, what I'll do is right after this, when I like when I do cut this in the next couple days, I will immediately upload a cutting video. And I really hope that you'll be there to watch.